Welcome to our tutorial on importing video into Cubase. In this tutorial, we'll learn about the types of video files Cubase supports, how to import them into Cubase, and how to extract the audio from a video file if that's all you really need. With the widespread use of digital video cameras, more and more people are using computers to edit movies. Cubase allows you to take video files and add sound to them to create new voiceovers, original soundtracks, and more. That's how we did this course, folks. You can use your computer monitor to display the video within Cubase, or you can connect to an external monitor. This second option frees up your computer's resources, giving you a better quality and bigger image while you work on the sound, but you'll need a special video card, and you'll need to know how to set it up. The PC version of Cubase supports up to four playback engines, Microsoft Direct Show and DirectX, Apple's QuickTime, and Video for Windows. The playback engine is what lets you view the video. You can see which engines you've got in the Device Setup menu. Go to Devices, Device Setup, and select Video Player from the Device Tree. I've got Microsoft Direct Show and Video for Windows on mine. The Mac version of Cubase supports the QuickTime engine, which also supports AVI, MPEG, and DV formats. Plus, you can even use a FireWire connection to display the video. What this all means is that Cubase supports QuickTime movies, Windows Media Videos, MPEGs, and AVIs. Now, let's talk about how to set up for the import of video files in Cubase. Choose your playback method from this drop-down menu, Playback Method. I'm going to leave mine at Direct Show Video. Next, under Video Properties, choose Big, Small, or Tiny. The larger the video window, the more processing power your computer will have to put out. Also, it's hard to work with big size when you're using only one monitor. I'm going to choose Small for the purposes of this tutorial. Click Apply if you need to and OK. Now let's go to File. Preferences on our PC or Cubase Preferences on the Mac. Select Video from the Event Display branch. Check Show Video Thumbnails to see a thumbnail preview of the video on the video track. The video cache size represents the cache memory reserved to display those thumbnails. If you're using a long video file or want to stretch the track to see bigger frames, you'll need to increase the cache size. Otherwise, leave the setting at its default value. How you adjust this value depends on how much of your computer's resources you can spare for this. When you're done making your adjustments, click Apply and OK. Now let's go and import a video. Go to the File menu, select Import and then Video File. The Import Video dialog window opens. Let's browse to the location of the video file I want to import and select it. Check here if you want the audio to be extracted to its own track. Check here to generate the thumbnail cache we spoke of a moment ago. And then click Open. Cubase imports the audio, gives us a status message. Then Cubase generates the thumbnail cache, also giving us a status. You can abort if you need to by pressing this button. Here are our two new tracks. Cubase needs a moment to generate the audio image for the track. Here's the video track with the thumbnail cache. Just click on that track to have the video play in the size you selected in the Video Preferences dialog window. Below, we've got the extracted audio soundtrack. If you only need to extract the audio track from a video and not the video itself, use the Import Audio from Video File option. This creates a separate audio file from your video and puts it in your project. The first thing that we'd need to do is create an audio track and position the cursor where we want to import the extracted track. 
We can also select an existing track and position the cursor where we need to drop the audio file. Now let's go to File, Import, Audio from Video File. The Import Audio Tracks from Video dialog window opens. Let's navigate to our video and select it. And click Open. The Importing Audio Stream from Video File status box displays Cubase's progress and drops the new file on the track and cursor position we specified. Notice the name of the file. It's the same as the name of the video. Let's select Media, Open Pool Window. Now open the Audio Folder. As you can see, the new audio file is stored in the Audio Folder of our current project directory, but the original video file is not used. Let's close the Pool Window. By the way, we'll be learning more about how to use the pool later in this course. And this concludes our tutorial on importing video files into Cubase.